In this video, we will learn about the different types of utility functions in economics. First one is Cobb Douglas utility function. So, this function describes goods that are neither perfect substitutes nor perfect complements, allowing for a combination of goods to yield the same utility. Its functional form is that is u is a function utility is a function of two goods x and y which are related like this x to the power alpha times y to the power beta. Okay, so it is a graph will look like this. So we have good x on the horizontal axis, good y on the vertical axis. So it is indifference curve will be like this. Convex shape of indifference curve. Second, we have the perfect substitute utility function. Perfect substitute, substitute utility function, utility function. Now this function assumes that goods are perfectly interchangeable, meaning a consumer is indifferent between consuming one good or another. That means they are perfect substitutes of each other like we have tea and coffee. Uh, its functional form is that is let, let me write it here utility is a function of two goods and they are related that is uh, let's take x plus y and on the graph it looks like this we have x y it is indifference curves are straight lines so let us say this is ic1 ic2 here we have ic1 ic2 and ic3 the higher the IC is, means the higher the utility is in each of the cases. Then we have another utility function, what we call the perfect complement utility function. Perfect complement utility function. Utility function. Now, in this case, what happens? Uh, or this function describes goods that are always consumed in fixed proportions, meaning one good is useless without the other. Let us say uh, we have a pair of shoes, that is we have the left shoe, left shoe and right shoe. Okay, so if we only purchase left shoe, and then the utility derived from this will be zero unless we also purchase the right shoe of the same size or order with this okay so in this case uh, we consume the goods in the fixed proportion also if we have two left shoes and one right shoe it will give us the same utility okay so its functional form is utility is a function of two goods x and y which are related like this that is minimum of um let me write it here x comma y okay this is one of the example of the perfectly complete complementary utility function we also call this fixed proportion utility function lastly we have another kind of utility function what we call quasi linear utility function quasi linear utility function Okay, so in this case, uh, this function is the generalization of the perfect substitute utility function where one good's utility is linear and the other good's utility is non-linear. Uh, it's utility function, uh, okay, for this uh, perfectly complementary utility function, our graph will look like this. We will have the right angled indifference curves, okay. Then we have the quasi-linear utility function. In this case, um, this is actually the generalization of the perfect substitute or utility function where one good's utility is linear and the other, uh, you know, good's utility is non-linear. Its functional form is that is utility is a function of two good's x comma y. They are like this. That is one is linear and another is non-linear. Okay. So it is graph will look like this. If I draw it here, so they are the vertical translators of each other. Okay.
so this was a brief summary of the types of utility function so in the next videos i will be explaining each of these utility functions what will be the mrs in the first what is the modular rate of te technical substitution in each of these utility functions how do we find out the optimal bundle in each of these utility functions okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you